Jesus, this is like the roast word of me, y'all. situations. Why are you stopping? It was the waiting. I didn't know if you was coming back. Of course I was coming back. You were only supposed to be gone for a couple of days. It took longer than I thought. Damn. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, mm -hmm. in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Miss McFarland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. Damn, she wanted that job, Dick. Ma'am. <laughs> Let me hand back home. Good people. 
<laughs> okay, Judd. Chance to make it right. We did good today, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. are going too good chat right. um, I, don't know, I forget how it ends to a uh, mission Passes. Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Uh, no, sir. I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Mm -hmm. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. The day John Marston stops shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know, they're going to be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration. One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John, come here. John, come here, quick. Is this it, boys? 
Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Pa? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. Now you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy! Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. For the love of God! There's still time for you to run, old man. I'll hold him here. Come on now! Stay away from my family! Shit, dude. Your family, boy. Come on, can't stay out here. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Oh, look how many there are. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? Yeah. No, I ain't gonna. Rupus, get them down, there, Rupus! You ain't gonna take us. Bruh. What? What am I supposed to do there? <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do there? I don't know, Uncle, how about you don't get fucking just killed, please? You know, that'd be nice. Oh, look how many there are. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? No, I ain't gonna let that happen. Hold it right there. Oh. I'm gonna get you out of here safe. Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <laughs> take them and <laughs> don't worry about me. Just get them out of here. No, Uncle, please. Oh my God, they killed him. Come on, son. Ain't nothing we can do for him now. We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there. All right, P. This way. We'll make a run for the board. Stay 
Shit! Get up, John! Bruh! I'm dead. Let's see. Let's go. Dude, get the fuck inside! Run! Why are we going inside? Where the fuck is Jack at? Do I have to chase this guy or what? Boys, hey, come on. Now, listen, Jack, Narlin, get on this horse, get out of here, go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now, get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! Oh, I thought it was... RP man. Oh 
shit, this horse got unlimited stamina. Okay. Bitch! Western sky on the lone prairie. Okay, you still can do it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So how do you know to do the Agent Ross thing now? Complete all US gang hideouts and for a what? I like how it changes to Jack. Alright, let's check out the stores, I guess. Every time you go in this area, same shit. Consumer, that's why you've come here, am I right? 
Thanks very much. Hmm. Couldn't even buy anything. How do they say there's new items and shit, and none of the shops have anything? Let's go. Sure, she. All right, sure, I'm almost done with that. How you doing? Good day. Hello, sir. We got all kinds of arms for all kinds of hands, if you know what I mean. Okay. Alright, so that's pretty easy. work with the government you one of them agents sure son <clears throat> why you ask did you work with a man named Edgar Ross I have something for him Edgar Ross no but well knew of him a fine man if you want a results won himself a chest full of medals I think he went and retired about a year ago last I heard him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio lucky guy getting to take it easy He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. Okay. Alright, so what we're gonna do is do the... We're gonna play some high stakes poker real quick first. The problem is, I don't know how to complete 100% of the game. Call that bitch Beyonce! On my feet, bye! Fancy. I know. How do you even go to that place? No, bro. Mi casa, su casa. Okay, I'm just gonna see if he bought or had another one. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's in the hotel. Okay, go. Cool. Oh, he's in Jack, too. Let's go. All right, hopefully, Jack gives me some luck here, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's my problem. Fucking pussy!
I want to teach you lessons. You are a saint and a scholar. Here's a token of my gratitude. Let's go, boys. Rattle it. 